In this video, we're going to look at how intersection and union behave using Venn diagrams. Hi there. The first thing we're going to do is learn the difference between A intersection B and A union B. Here are two circles, A and B. If we shade one of the circles red, one of them blue, the purple area is represented by that banana there and it's A and B. Anything in that is included in both A and B. With two circles if we shade A and B a color we can see that anything in A or B is included so we include we call it A or B. Now what would it look like if we had three sets? Here are three circles. We're going to shade A, B, and C different colors a is red, and B will be blue, and C will be yellow. That little triangle in the middle is the intersection. When we shade A, B, and C, we find that all the points in them represent the union. Anything in A or B or C is included. Sets have a kind of distributive property of intersection over union. Let's compare these two Venn diagrams here. First we'll do B union C, and then intersect that with A. See the little butterfly shape? Now we'll do A intersection B, and we'll do A intersection C, and then union the two together. Take away the parts that are not relevant, and you see the same butterfly shape on both, showing that both of these set constructions have the same result. Now, let's see how your TI-83 or your TI-84 can do some of these same things. Here's the opening screen of the program called VEN. Here's the first menu. We're first going to look at A or B. Any point in A or B is included in the final result, so everything in A and B is shaded. Now we're going to try option 2 and we'll see what A and B looks like. Here we get the banana shape in the middle where points in the final solution are in A and B at the same time. Now we're going to look at A and B and C. Remember that triangle that we experienced earlier? Here it is again. So points in the triangle are in A and B and C. Now we're going to see what it looks like to do the distributive property. Here is A and B or C. So we get that little butterfly shape we saw earlier. Next, we're going to look at what it happens when you do A and B or A and C. And again, we see that butterfly shape, showing that these two uh, sets, these, these sets are equal to each other. Finally we go back to the uh, menu and you can exit the program and go back to the home screen. 